Hi, my name is Talissa Mitchell, and today I'll be doing my wildcard speech on how to be a face. So before we start, some may say, what is being a face? Being a face is basically when you apply makeup, a full coverage of makeup, all over your face to enhance the beauty that you already have or the beauty that you may want to have. So before we start, I'm going to tell you guys a couple things that you will need to get this beauty thing started. So you need moisturizer, makeup brushes, eyebrow pencil, concealer, foundation, contour, eyeshadow palette, lipstick, lip gloss or lip chap, and also false lashes. So for steps one through three, for step one, before you apply any makeup to your face at all, you will need moisturizer. And moisturizer is basically used to make sure that your face isn't dry or flaky because if it is and then you apply makeup to it, it's going to look very blotchy and it's not going to look very nice and very pleasing and very pleasing to the eyes of other people. So for steps two through three, you guys right here, there's, um, there's the eyebrow transformation for the woman. These are her normal eyebrows before she applies anything to them. And as you move along to steps two and three of her eye, her eyebrows, she adds lines of concealer. She adds lines of eyebrow pencil to very much make her eyebrows very sharp and crisp. And as you get to steps four through six, she then adds contour to make her eyebrows very defined and very nice looking. And once you get to the last couple of steps, last three steps, she then applies, she then blends in all of her foundation, all of her concealer, and here's the finished crisp product of her eyebrows. So for steps four through six, the first thing that you'll need to do after you have applied your concealer and you've also done your eyebrows, you need to apply foundation. Foundation, as it is called, is the base to having the best makeup look. So as you can see on the picture of the before, the lady right here, she has her bare face, the way that she looks, her normal everyday look. And on the after, she added foundation after she applied after she has done her eyebrows and has also added a little concealer to really brighten up her normal natural look so that it isn't too harsh or it isn't too, you could say, very harsh to her face. So for steps five and six, she then, another woman applies more concealer and contour. And I'll explain the reasoning for each color contour now. The dark contour around her perimeter of her head are the dark spots, are the dark contour. And that contour is used because you just now apply foundation and maybe your face isn't completely the color of your skin just yet. So you add a little bit of darkness around the perimeter of your face so that it can really blend in and make everything look natural like it's your face because technically it is your face. And then the light colored concealer is to really brighten up your face or maybe those are your problem areas where you don't have as much pigmentation as you want and you want to line it up so that you get that real natural nice glow. And on the picture next to it, it shows her final look from her applying her foundation, eyebrows, contour and concealer and putting them all together. Nice look in my opinion. Very nice, very natural. It looks as if she has nothing on, maybe a little eyeshadow and eye cheekbones. So for the final product, you should be able to get something of this sort right here. So this, this beautiful young lady, she has her whole face beat. She has her eyebrows done. She has her eyeshadow done she has her lips done her lipstick on with her black or brown eyeliner liner around her lips to really make her lips just pop and then she also has some highlighter which i didn't get into but highlighter is also another natural glowing effect it gives your face a very boosted up glow or a very cute 
nice look or approach to having a very natural look while still having the bare minimum of nothing besides a very bold and nice eyeshadow look. So guys, now that I'm done telling you guys about how to beat a face, I want to show you guys a couple things that I use to beat my face and what my results look like. So on the first picture right here, I have on a very bright red lipstick, followed by some nice false lashes, and my eyebrows are slightly defined. I was going for a very pop-out lip color that day, but not as much makeup. For my second photo, I have a very nice yellow effect going on with on the top of my eyes. And then I put a very light and mellow white to kind of blend it in to give it an effect that maybe it's a sunrise happening on my eyes. Not really sure, but it came out very nice. And I had some very defined eyebrows. And I also have my little baby hairs done. And then for the last photo, I have a light pink and dark pink ombre look going on and a little lipstick and that was pretty much it that day I wasn't going for anything too extravagant I just wanted to look nice so thank you guys for watching my presentation and listening to me explain explain to you guys and show you guys how to beat a face thank you